I think by the end of the year, we might have more retro Thomasville Piston Cop racers than next-gen racers. I mean, Mattel has just been pumping them out this year like crazy, starting with Leroy Hemming and now up to Slim Hood. And there's Randy Lawson to come. There's Floyd Morgan, Joe Don Jackson, and probably a few more. So very exciting if you're into these older racers, and I sure am. I love these guys. It adds a different flavor to the Cars universe being from, you know, kind of a previous era. So they are, you know, they still have those aspects that we love about Piston Cup racers, but they're still a little different and that makes them unique. So guys, welcome back to another Disney docket presentation. Of course, Slim Hood here came out of 2020 Singles Case T. I unboxed it in store. So check out that video in the description below or the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. Pretty exciting stuff. So anyways, let's just get right into the review here of Slimbo, as I like to call him. So first of all, I love the artwork. He looks nice and determined, but still pretty friendly. And you can even see like almost all of his details and decals on the side there. He is in Doc's Racing Day series with the number 51 up there. Back in the day, Doc Hudson and friends mastered the racetrack with their quick wits and old school tires. So you can see on the back here, you have Weedle Lee, who is also in this case, and I will be reviewing him soon, but don't expect him for a little while. That review will be not as soon to come as some others. Then there is Slim himself, a prototype image of him. You have Duke Coulters, who was already released earlier in the year, but got reissued in Case T. And there's Heyday Smokey, who's been out, you know, obviously in a two-pack, four-pack, and a couple times as a single. So that's pretty much it. You have a nice picture there of Doc racing against Heyday Jr. Moon, who we just reviewed and unboxed a week or so ago. Check out that video in the description below and the card suggestion pop-up. Of course, that was the two-pack with a brand new release of Eli Turnpike. So very exciting. Like I said, a lot of these retro racers are out and there's a ton more to come. Very, very cool. So I'll be right back with the sky all opened up. All right, so here is Slimbo out of the package, and he looks awesome. He's a little bit differently shaped than I had imagined him to be. I thought he was going to be really similar to Leroy Hemmings' model, but he's actually a little taller, a little thinner, and we'll do a deeper comparison in a couple moments here. But first, I'll put up any images I can find of him from the movie there on the screen. Again, he is a background character. He didn't speak in the movie. He really wasn't shown prominently. So likelihood is that we probably won't be able to get a great picture of him, but I'll put whatever I can find. All right, so let's dive right into the review here of Slimbo. So first of all, the expression, he's got green eyes there. Eyes are looking a tad grainy, but we got to get over that. We got to get over this tile and grainy stuff because it seems like it's not going away. Although maybe if we complain about it enough, they will listen to us. I really do like, though, that they included nine here on the front. It's something that we don't really see too often, you know, numbers being on the front bumper. But I think it looks really nice. I also like that they included the axe on the headlights there, which, you know, obviously was on the card art. But I didn't think that they would actually convert that over to the die cast. But they did. So that's awesome. Love the smile. Gives them some character. Love the nice grill there. You could feel the indentations. A little silver pinstriping going on here on the hood. The hood itself is clean, no decals, which is a nice classic touch. The Plaza Supermarket, so that's a little sponsor of him, probably, you know, in Bristol, Tennessee, his hometown. They decided to, you know, sponsor him a little local business there, so that's cool. I love seeing that stuff. And then you have some of the bigger brands down here, like Southern Gasoline Gold or Southern Gold Gasoline. I love that. We've seen it a couple times before. Obviously, Revolting, probably one of the most long-lasting companies 
in the Cars universe because it's been around since the 1950s all the way up to present day with Aaron Clocker being the next gen. Whereas with Southern Gold Gasoline or you know some of the other ones that we see, they are still, you know, they're not around anymore. Of course, he is number nine there. And I love the fact that they included some black, you know, asphalt, dirt, detailing or whatever really gives it, you know, a nice realistic sense here. They did the same thing with Duke Coulter is adding some dirt and rust on him, but they don't do that with all the racers. Like Eli Turnpike, they just made him clean, even though in the art, they showed him looking a little dirty. So I'm very happy to see that they did that with Slim here. And the decals aren't that grainy at all. Drink Sludge Cola. So that's a fantastic sponsor. Not entirely sure if it's related to Sludgy, which is one of the sponsors that was featured on Chick Hicks in the Cars 1. Now, I do have this Cars 3 Chick Hicks here, and we're going to see if it made its way onto this version at all here. We're going to take a look. This would be fantastic if it did. I'm probably looking right at it, but I'm just glossing over it. I see a bunch of other sponsors that didn't have racers. Why can't I find Sludgy? Where you at, bro? There he is. Hidden behind the headset there. Sludgy. And it's in that, I don't know, probably not related, but who knows? Sludge Cola could have, you know, converted to be more with the times, the Sludgy. But either way, you do have a nice little bottle there of it, which is fantastic decals. I just love that. You know, a nice retro vibe coming from there. You can even see like the little fizzy bubbles. That's fantastic. It'll give you a jump start. That's awesome. I love that. Slim Hood's easily becoming one of my favorite Thomasville racers. And there you have Motor Oil, who we've seen many times on actual Motor Oil cans. Slim Hood. Now, Slim must be his nickname because it's in quotes. He must, you know, find tight openings. You know, he is slim. He finds his way through we wide packs you know he weaves his way through number nine there on the roof on the back here you have that sludge cola decal again it'll give you a jump start with those three decals these are grainy for sure though motor oh my gosh you can hardly read them that's awful they're really clear there and then they just <laughs> ran out of gas back here what's going on that is disgusting. Anyway, you can see his license plate there is LO2-02M. So again, you know you have initials paired with a birthday. Can't quite think of who this would be. I almost came up with that Jay Shuster one on the Melissa Term a Break review. I'm not sure if that video has been posted or not. You know, I've pre-recorded a bunch of videos. I'm not sure when I'll be posting them all. But you know, there's a little story with that one. I cannot read the, actually, it should say Tennessee above it. And it looks like a date, 1955. Sweet, I re actually read that. Maybe I'm not getting so old after all. Tennessee in 1955. Sweet. You can see the little trunk outline there with the hitch or the you know lever to release the trunk. And then you have these little tail fins here, which is a nice touch along with the gray line going across him. Decals on this side are the same. Taking a little note at his tires here. They're just black with black rims. Base code is M24A. So that's the 24th week of 2019 at the A factory. So a fantastic release here. I'm very happy with it. You know, at first I didn't think I'd like him that much, but he really grew on me just literally over the past five minutes here. Now, Cal Weathers, the Thomasville version who came out probably about a year ago now. He based himself on to honor Slim Hood here. I, the name just lost me for a second. That's why I hesitated there. But so we've kind of already seen, you know, previews at what these decals would look like because Cal Weathers previewed them. So, of course, you have 42 on his front there with the just clean hood. So I like that a lot. Now, they did include vents, obviously, because he is, you know, a new racer. So he still has to have, you know, those necessary components so it's really just the decals and the paint that they changed. You have the rims looking gray. They should have made them black, honestly. So the number is in the same kind of style there, although the font looks 
like it's still Cal's normal font. So you have the Plaza Supermarket, Bristol, Tennessee, Southern Gold Gasoline Revolting. Does not look like they included motor oil. Oh no, they did. Back here they have motor oil and they have sludge cola. It'll give you a jump start. So I love that. Again, the decals do look a little simplified there. It's a little different coloring. So it's a lot more red, a lot brighter. The red outline around sludge is much more vibrant here on Cal than it is on Slim. The gas cap kind of cuts into that. You have Cal Weathers up there. He did not put quotes around Cal, even though I've seen that done before. I think on like Herb Kerbler, you know, because he obviously is based on Jet Robinson. He put quotes around Herb, even though that is his actual real name, if you guys know what I'm talking about. He put a little white top up here, which looks good. You know, it would have been a lot of light blue, a lot of baby blue, a lot of sky blue if they didn't put that white top, but that is not reflected on Slim himself. On the back here, you do have that same kind of sludgy logo set. Does seem to be his primary sponsor. Really, really cool. I'm glad that we're now able to pair up some of these Thomasville Tribute Racers with the actual racers that they're trying to honor. We did that with Eli Turnpike and Chip Gearings, and now we're able to do it with Slim. So now we're going to compare him to Leroy Hemming here. So their models are kind of similar if you were to like squash Slim a little bit. So turn the height and the width. They do have the same rims and same tires. Of course, Leroy is the main rookie racer from the 1950s you think about because he was featured pretty prominently. Now, I just went to Disney World and I saw Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, which is a show they have in Hollywood Studios. And Leroy Hemming even is in that because they play some clips from the movies. So he's definitely a little bit more popular. And the actual really mind-blowing thing about it is that they had Leroy Hemming for sale right outside of Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Obviously, that's just a pure coincidence, but it really does work out pretty well for Disney, somebody in the... Academy and the show, they're like, I want that car. And then bam, he's right outside. Like, what are the chances? But anyway, yeah, nice little comparison between those two. And let me know in the comment section below which Thomasville racer is your favorite. So we have a whole bunch now. Of course, Eli Turnpike's one of our newest additions here. We have Duke Coulters. I feel like I am missing somebody. But of course, we have Heyday Junior Moon, Heyday River Scott, Heyday Quotes. Louise Nash, yeah, she's not really Heyday. Heyday Smokey. And of course, Cal Weathers will toss him back there. I feel like I am missing somebody, but I'm probably not. I think I'm good. I am missing Randy Lawson, who's so far only available in Australia. And then after that, we'll have Floyd Morgan coming out. So very exciting time. Both of those match up with Thomasville Tributes, Jackson Storm and Parker Brakeston, respectively. So it'll be cool to compare those when the time comes. But yeah, let me know your favorite in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys soon for yet another video. The Disney Docket Marathon continues. Goodbye now.